Someone said to me, well, why don't you um, do a video of what you do? People will like it. It's gross. Cheers, I thought. But still, you know, maybe they got a point. So I thought I'll do that. Last week, um, I had someone come to me who was a professional water sports instructor, and uh, she had some problems with her ears, uh, which I cleared out. And she said I could video it because there was the possibility she had something called exostoses, which is a uh, bony growth in the ear. So I did, and she did, and I've got it on video, and so I'll show you that. Um, but before I do that, I'll just briefly explain what exostoses are. Um, here is an ear. All right, it's not a real one, in case you haven't guessed. We'll take it apart. No blood. Um, <clears throat> now, inside the canal here, you'll see the uh, canal has got very thin skin, and it's against the bone of the skull. This means it's very sensitive to temperature. The bone is exposed to temperature. So if you are in cold water or exposed to a lot of cold air, then you'll find that that is um, going to make the skin and the bone get very cold very quickly. When the bone is exposed to prolonged exposure to very cold, calcium thickens up and you get little lumps develop on the canal. Um, how can I show you that? I've got an idea, don't go away. Okay, back again. So, here's my idea, a bit of silicone. This is gonna be um, my exostosis, which is one bony growth, or exostoses when there's more than one. So, about halfway down is typically where they start to build up. There's one, very nice. Um, often in the bottom, for some reason, I don't know why, you actually tend to find they come in pairs, which is very nice. And when you're looking down the ear, you just see these two big lumps. Behind that, often you'll get others, particularly on the top, tend to be smaller ones. Um, and they can grow over a period of time. They can get bigger and bigger, which um, typically is not a great problem. But when it starts trapping wax, when it starts trapping water, um, then you can get an issue clearing your ears and it become quite a problem. The more things are the trap, the more likely you are to get infections. So infections with this condition, uh, which is also called swimmer's ear uh, or surfer's ear, because obviously they're exposed to cold water and tend to get it a lot, um, then yeah, then you are more likely to get infections. It could um, get much worse over a period of time. It does take a long time. They can grow and actually block the ear. It's what we call a treasure, complete atresia, and that's where you'd need to see an ENT specialist or otorhinolaryngologist to actually get it cleared out, which will involve a bit of drilling, a bit of scraping, a bit of patching up with some skin to sort that out. Not pleasant. Uh, best way to avoid it, don't get cold water in your ears. It's really as simple as that. Use earplugs or anything that's going to prevent the water getting into your ears. Um, and if you do, make sure you clear them out. Um, and if you're having trouble clearing water and moisture out of your ear, there's a great remedy which works brilliantly. Uh, and it's 50% mix of white vinegar and methylated spirits or alcohol. Uh, it's perfectly safe, a few drops of that. The white vinegar is, is brilliant at sterilizing the ear and the methylated spirits, fantastic at evaporating the moisture from your ears. However, if you do have any damage or previous damage to your drum, perforations, um, tympanoplasties, anything to do with the eardrum, then just see, get some medical advice before you do so. But that will help to clear it all out and keep it clean. So exostoses, blocking the ear, um, or like to get infections, uh, a lot of problems, um, sometimes some pain, discomfort, easily blocking, and then you come to see me and I sort it out well. I clear the ears anyway. So the first video I've taken, uh, which I'm just about to show you, is of just that, 
um, someone who's a swimming instructor, sorry, not a swimming instructor, water sports instructor, um, and often involves a, a lot of um, deep water and very cold water exposure, and um, yeah, it blocks the ears. So watch the video, enjoy.